I just did a review not too long ago over the Marmont Zeus jacket. And I, I think I'd said something about doing a review over this one, how it fits over it, and just a review about it itself. Wait, this is the Marmont Aegis jacket uh, in the cardinal color. I don't know if it, how it looks on the video. But uh, it's a very good jacket. I have decided between three different jackets. The um, Mountain Hardware Typhoon jacket, uh, this jacket, the Marmont Aegis, and the Outdoor Research Foray jacket. Those are all very good jackets. I happened on this one at a good price, so that's the reason I chose this one. This does have a lot of good features that I do like. I have personally held a, a um, Typhoon jacket by Mountain Hardware and it's very good quality. It's more thick, it's more heavy. This I believe probably is just as good a protection for a lighter weight. And I really like the features and the comfort of this one. Alright, as far as the specs of the jacket goes, the jacket weighs in the large size, uh, which I have the large size of the Marmot Zeus puffy jacket. They, fit, they coincide very well with each other. Uh, the weight of the large in the Marma Aegis is uh, 14 and a half ounces almost exactly. So as far as the features go, uh, it's made. It's not made out of Gore-Tex. It's made out of their own proprietary fabric called uh, Membrane Strata, which is a two and a half layer fabric, which is the old days. All you had was three and a half, uh, three layer fabrics, which you have your outer shell, the nylon, you have your waterproof breathable membrane and then you have another liner inside of that which protects the membrane from abrasion and just normal wear. This is a two and a half layer fabric which you have your outer layer, your membrane and then you have a layer sprayed on top of your membrane which protects it which is the strata part of the membrane which is their version of Gore-Tex which is better than most Gore-Tex I think. As far as the foray and the Typhoon jackets go those are both Gore-Tex pack light which are the same two and a half layer fabrics and I had an Under Armour, uh, I can't remember the exact name of it, but it was an Under Armour uh, barrage jacket, I believe it was, a uh, rain jacket like this. It did have the, the uh, pack-friendly zips. Uh, it was similar to this one. It was the same color or a little bit darker. And the breathability was terrible on it. It was 10,000, 10,000 on that jacket. And I always had to keep the pit zips open. This jacket, I've noticed a big difference, which is one of the claims of it, how breathable it is. It's got it's won quite a few awards. I believe it won Outside Magazine's uh, gear pick uh, 2009, something like that. I may be wrong. Uh, this jacket is rated 2020 on the uh, breathability rating. As far as compared to, they say as far as lab testing go, that's real comparable to um, uh, Event, if you're familiar with that. It's supposed to be the most breathable fabric. Uh, waterproof breathable fabric yet and Gore-Tex pack light is very breathable in itself they say it's 28 27 on the rating on that which uh, is, is really good as far as the features of this jacket go uh, it does uh, some uh, you can see with the pictures on it it has slanted sleeve ends which they're canted on the cut they're not straight across just plain they're canted which I kinda like that it keeps your palm open kind of protects the top of your hand a little bit. It's not a big deal. The thing I don't like about this jacket, which I've heard some other reviews on it, is there's only three spots of Velcro on here. And I don't like that. I'd rather have a solid piece. It does save weight, but, you know, it's not that much weight. I'd rather have the functionality. It has a bicep zipper. I hear what's the Hydro Kiss zippers, water-resistant zippers. I don't use these much. It looks cool. Other than that, it's good for putting a compass or map or anything like that in iPod, iPhone. I don't really like iPhones or iPods. It's too heavy on the arm. But uh, it does not have a chest pocket, which is... I like chest pockets, but it's not a big deal. It does have pack-friendly pockets here, as you can tell. And they're up high. I'll move the camera down a little bit so you can see what the bottom of this jacket looks like. The pack... I'll put on a pack just here in a second and show you what it's like. They do come a little bit low, but they're tall enough that it does come up above the pack plenty of well. And the pack, the pockets are very large. Go all the way up to my pectorals, all the way down to my waistline. Or below my waistline, actually. Also, this jacket is canted on the cut from the front to the back. It does come down quite a bit in the back. It will cover your rear. And the front comes up a little too high, I think. As far as the, my puffy goes, it does come up above the puffy, probably about an inch. Not a big deal. Oh, sorry. 
All right, that's the Marmot Aegis jacket, and I'll show you how small it packs, and I'm also going to show you how it fits over the Marmot Zeus jacket. Back with the Zeus on. This jacket does fit very well over the See that when you zip it up, that's what I was talking about. When you zip it up, this thing automatically folds right over. You don't have to fold it all back inside there. It's quick. Fits in there nice and good. Not too much bunching. I like the way it fits. No restriction. There's actually a little bit, but not bad. I'll show you what it, how it looks on the bottom. The jacket does stick out below, just a little bit in the front. I usually just kind of tuck it up in there. The back is completely covered. So it does have a good fit over the large, so you can kind of have a system there. Also, I want to show you a good way to roll up your jacket to pack it. I don't see many people doing it. It's very handy. Just hold your jacket up by the hood. Fold the arms around the front any way you like. It's kind of hard to do it. Hold it up. I'm trying to do it where you can see it. Grab hold the bottom. We got the sleeves and the jacket. Kind of fold it around the front, not too tight. Roll it up like you would your tent down toward the hood, with the hood being at the bottom. This makes real smooth packing. So I'll just roll it up and then pull your hood around your jacket. So roll your jacket into your hood. It creates a real good smooth packing. You don't have a bunch of wrinkle things flying out everywhere. And as far as packing this jacket, it is very packable. There's a few more features on the jacket I'm also going to show you. A pack up, about well, smaller than an Algene. Pretty good. I could pack it up smaller if I wanted to. Alright. Open it up here. A few more features I forgot. For the people that like to climb, this is be a good climbing jacket. It does have their angel arm movement. Also, the jacket moves up very little. It does move up some. Also, the Marmot Zeus jacket I did a review over has the angel wing movement. Most of their stuff does. And it does have the two-way zippers. It zips up from the bottom, so you can belay out of it in the rain or in snow, whatever. It does have what I do like about this is it doesn't have a double storm flap. Which that's a proven design. This has only one flap, but it's stiffened. And it does stay closed very well. And I really like that. And as far as the hood goes, it does have a real good hood. Comes up good. And it has what they call, I believe it's called dry climb inside here. A lot of brands go with the same kind of fleece material in here. And if you've got dry skin, a lot of times like you do in cold weather, it's real catchy on your fingers. It's the same stuff they put in jackets at Walmart. It's cheap. But this stuff is really, really good. It doesn't, it's not anything like the other fabrics. Even that North Face uses, it's a lot better. Hood. Let's have a full coverage hood. It will fit over a helmet. You can kind of tell how big it is on me. But it does cinch up really nice. Find it. Pull these straight out. I can turn my head somewhat without it restricting my vision. And also, too, you can tighten this back. You can look around pretty well. well. I like my jacket that does that. When it's raining really hard, you don't want it to restrict your vision, especially if you want to use it for biking or climbing. And It does have a stiffened hood, which that's good. It keeps it from falling down in front of your face. It holds it out there. This jacket does run a little lower as far as price than the Marmot or the uh, Mountain Hardware Typhoon or the Mountain or Out can't speak Outdoor Research 4i jacket. 
Also, I was going to show you how it fits with the pack on. This is a backpacking pack. The pockets, here's the pockets. They do fit above the hip belt. Hold them down a little bit. Belt right across your waist. The pockets do go down a little bit into the hip belt. You can kind of see. Kind of comes up, but not bad. Plenty good enough. Plenty of room to fit your hands in there. Also, it does have good pit zips on the jacket, which I didn't show. They come down pretty far.